Two weeks left, guys. Two till the regular season is over and playoffs begin. I can't believe it. Thanksgiving is this week, three days away, right? Four days. Tuesday was it? Three days away. It's just flown by every year. Same thing. I kind of say this when it comes to like um, weathermen. They repeat themselves every year. Like, oh, it's the such a cold day. It's the coldest day of the year. I'm like, and then they talk about all sorts of crap. I'm like, you said the same stuff last year. Guess what? Same thing. Time is flying by. The season is almost upon us to, for the playoffs. And things took a big change this week because there's a shakeup. And I'll tell you what it is in a second. First, the dirty engines. Oh, wait. That's it. That was the shakeup. Pink Taco has been on top, I think, pretty much most of the year in his division. Until this week. Captain Insanos knocks off Pink Taco 147 to 138. What a nice game this was. I mean, Matt Stafford had a crappy game for Pink Tacos, but Kirk Cousins lit it up. Lit it up for the Captain Insanos. And so did James Starks. Finally had a good game. 140. Man, nice. Nice win. Good job. I mean, it's nice to see that Pink Taco is, you know, a human being. He's not a machine. Pocket Rockets is the other one. Pocket Rockets loses to Dirty Engines. And yes, exactly what I was going to say on your post. Tom Brady would have scored you 46 points, 30 more points than Ben Roethlisberger. Now, I know you're a busy guy, but if you saw the weather, 30 mile hour winds, well, that might take Ben Roethlisberger's deep throws out of the question. And it did. It he was couldn't make any deep deep throws because the ball was flying everywhere. So I would have probably played Tom Brady. But you didn't, and I'm glad. I'm so glad you didn't. Thank you for losing. The Dirty Engines beat P P uh, Pocket Rockets 109 to 92. Couldn't even get 92. Maybe this is a good wake up call for you. Maybe your team needed that. I hope not, because I hope you do choke, Josh. You know, I don't want you to win. I want me to win. And uh, I hope it doesn't just say, hey, this is your wake up call, and now all of a sudden you're going to start putting up 200 points a game. We'll see. Popsicles also loses to Natty Ice. Natty Ice, I don't think you're, you might still have a chance, but I just, it's really close. But you knock Popsicles down. Huge. 151 to 128. And, uh,. Yeah, you still would have lost because Natty Ice had just a big game. Doug Martin, Lamar Miller, and Jarvis Landry. Uh, I guess you know what did he do? He played two tight ends. He played Martellus Bennett and Travis Kelsey. Can you fault him for that? Two points for Martellus Bennett with Gronk not playing. You think you would think Martellus would get like eight catches, eighty yards, one or two touchdowns? I can't believe he didn't do any of that. But you still won, so that's all that matters. <clears throat> Doo Doo, another huge, I mean, this whole week, Doo Doo beats Ryan. Well, I mean, it's not like a huge upset there, but but I'll get to the standings. This is where the standings take huge effect. Doo Doo beats Ryan 152 to 104. Huge win there. Uh, and then Ryan, or not Ryan, Jeremy, I needed him to actually show up today. He's been not, he, Jeremy's usually a good team. Not this week, no. This week, Wine em, Dine em just punked them. Drew Brees and David Johnson are just, they're just too much. 30 points from Drew Brees, 40 points from David Johnson. It's just too much. So, Wine em, Dine em wins. And I lose to Travis. 41 points from Le'Veon Bell, all for nothing. And, yeah, I lose. Both our defenses get negative points. Negative two for me, negative three for him. But what killed me, I just can't find a quarterback that wants to really do good. And Travis did. I mean, Travis had Dak, uh, Marcus Mariota get 37, but his better quarterback got 42. And Russell Wilson even got, I mean, he has three quarterbacks all getting 36 plus points. Can I have one of them, please? It's too late now, but. Uh, Thanks a lot for beating me, Travis. I really needed that win because now I'm tied for first. Am I tied for first or am I got a one game? I might have a one game lead. Yeah, I think I have a one game lead, but still, 
Travis, come on, man. I wanted, I needed that win. You don't need it. You're done, right? Let's look. Let's look and see. Well, with Pink Taco losing and Dirty Engines winning, Dirty Engines has a one-game lead in first place with two games to go. Here's the thing. Dirty Engines has about almost 200 points less than Pink Taco. So if they end up tied, odds are Pink Taco is going to win the tiebreaker and be the winner. So the Dirty Engines needs one more win, right? One would be nine. No, because if Pink Taco wins out and Dirty Engines wins one, they're tied. So you need Pink Taco to lose one and you win one. That's what you need. But Natty Ice winning brings his total to six wins. He's still in the hunt. Ryan, you're done. Toilet bowl. Um, Doo Doo, with him winning and Popsicles losing, Doo Doo is in first place. Holy cow. And they're pretty much neck and neck in points. So Popsicles needs to win just to have a chance to get tied. Banana Hot Sea, you're, you're still in the mix a little, not much. I think you're pretty much toilet bowl bound, so you winning really didn't help you any. It just hurt me. Thanks a lot. I mean, seriously. All right, I mean, yeah, you're going to try and get a bye week for the toilet bowl. That's what you're trying for. So with me losing... I'm 9-3 and three with Wynum Dynam winning is one game behind me. Pocket Rockets is two games behind me. And the Insanos is 3-9. and nine. So, two weeks left. Who plays who this week? Let's just look. This week, the Dirty Engines is going to play Ryan. Right now, it shows it's a close game, but... Yeah, he has he doesn't have Devonte Freeman in there yet, so I think the engines are going to pull off the win. I think so. Taco Pluggers versus Natty Ice. This game is make or break for uh, Natty Ice. If he if he loses, toilet bowl. If he wins, he's in the mix. He could do he could be a number six seed possibly. But will he win? Um, I'm looking at it and. Uh, Matt Ryan has a good a good uh, chance to do mm, I don't know it's at home I'm not I don't know I'm not feeling it I'm feeling that uh, Philip Rivers and Melvin Gordon Todd Gurley Rob Kelly I'm feeling Pink Taco is gonna win sorry Natty I play Captain Insanos I hope I can win I mean maybe Kirk Cousins I need Cowboys to just to destroy Kirk Cousins. And in, but I, I need the Redskins to destroy Ezekiel Elliott. Ah, oh, that ain't gonna happen. It's probably gonna be a high-scoring game. I don't know. I think I should win. I just don't know. I don't want to jinx it, you know. <laughs> I want to play the right tight end. It says not to play Zach Ertz and play Jason Witten. Do I do that? Do I play Jason Witten over Zach Ertz, who's been kind of on fire? Anyway, Pocket Rockets, this is the game right here. I want Pocket Rockets to win. He's projected to destroy him, and I hope he does. Please, Pocket Rockets, win. You couldn't do it last week. Please do it this week. I think you should stay with Ben Roethlisberger against the Colts. So, he's got to have a comeback game, right? And I think... Ooh, man, Mark Ingram versus the Rams. I don't know if I'd go Mark Ingram on that, man. I would maybe consider Pierre Garçon. No, you got to stick with what you got. Yeah, I think you got to stick with what you got. I hope you win. Come on. Come on, Josh. Beat Joe. First name crap. Jeremy, are you going to beat Scott? I'd say you will. Well, I agree. Well, Scott lost CJ Procise. So he's down a running back again. Scott, your team is just struggling on running backs. You got the wide receivers. You just have one running back, and he's not even a good one. So, so you're going to lose, Scott, because you have no running backs. You have zero running backs. I mean, Yeldon is not. I mean, I think he lost his spot to Chris Ivory. 
Banana Hot Sea versus Doo Doo. Oh my gosh, this thing is saying Travis is going to destroy David. It, do I agree with this? Well, you got Gronk who I think Gronk will be ready to play, so you'll you stick Gronk back in there. Demarius Thomas is back, so you put him in. You sit. Who do you sit? Oh, Giovanni Bernard. You sit Giovanni Bernard. And uh, yeah, that's about it. That would raise your number. But Travis's team, LeGarrette Blunt, LaShawn McCoy. Ooh, LaShawn might not play. So you might have to go with Ryan Matthews, who might not play. Wow, this is going to be an interesting game right here. I, I, I say bets are off the board. There's too many unknown factors right now. Bets are off the board. But I'm going to say Doo-Doo's going to win. All right. Uh, let's look at Pick'ems. Did I already go over Pick'ems yet? Did I do Pick'ems yet? Pink Taco. No, I don't think I did. Pink Taco, you're ahead by two with myself and Joe and and Josh all at 28, two games behind you. Now, what about the King of the Mountain? Is there any change there? Nope. No change in the King of the Mountain yet. So it's still, I think it's me in this league right now. Now, don't forget, what starts this week? Just to clarify so everyone knows. If you add a player on free agents, you must play that player for at least the week you pick them up. Okay? If you drop a player, that player is gone the rest of the year. No one else can pick them up, not even you. Gone. Locked until next year. All right? So, that's it. Have a happy Thanksgiving. I think it, we got a good lineup of some football games. The Chiefs really need to win. That game last week, I guess it was a makeup for us beating the Panthers and the Chargers when we should have lost. So that's what I'm going to say it is. It's like even Steven, right? Because we should, we, we just gave the game away just like Chargers and Panthers gave the game away for us. So we just really needed Houston to win that game. And I think the refs blew a lot of calls for the Texans. Like they were paid to make sure that the Raiders had the upper hand because, you know, you're Mexico City, gangs, all that. They could have had the upper hand on some refs here. I don't know. I'm just saying. We really needed the Texans to win that game, but we didn't. And that's it. So, all right. Enough of that. Have a good Thanksgiving. Be safe. Don't drive and drink. I guess it's drink and drive. Don't drink and drive. Don't drive drunk. I guess you can drink and drive. You just don't drive drunk. That's it. That was a long sentence for me to figure out. See ya.